Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install um, the Apache server on a Raspberry Pi. We'll do the whole um, LAMP installation with uh, Apache, um, PHP, MySQL on a Linux operating system. That's what the LAMP stands for, Linux, Apache, MySQL, PHP, right? All right, so I have uh, here my list of commands. So to I am remotely connected to my Raspberry Pi, and if you don't know how to do that, I have a I'll have a link in the description for a previous tutorial where I show you how to do that. Um, anyway, I'm going to put in this command to to install Apache. Press Enter, and this may take a little bit. Um, while it's running, I'll say that this um, whole installation gives you a true web server on your Raspberry Pi. And if you had a um, static IP address and a domain name, you could really run a, a web server. Now, I wouldn't run anything too hefty because of your limitations in the processor with the Raspberry Pi. But um, for all intents and purposes, you have a web server. All right, that finished up. Now, if you were on your Raspberry Pi, you could navigate in a web browser to uh, localhost and the um, web server should be up and running by default it's running um, since I'm remote in there I'm going to just put in the address to the Raspberry Pi which is 192.168.1.6 uh, and there you go it says it works is the uh, this is the default web page um, for your Raspberry Pi. Um, so the directory where your files reside are as such. It could be var www.html or var www, depending on the OS. Um, on this, I think I'm running Wheezy, so let's just take a quick look. Um, this is uh, FileZilla, which again, I've mentioned this in a previous tutorial, but it's a free download and uh, works pretty nice for connecting to your Pi to kind of see um, visually the file structure. Uh, so if we went to the root directory, and like I said, it should be in var, and then www, there it is. Um, so on Wheezy, I think it's just var www. On Jesse, I think it's var www HTML. Um, so that's that file there. I could, um, well, let me show you next. I, I was just going to say that FileZilla would be nice for editing and throwing uh, new files up to your web server. And we're going to put, um, we're going to install PHP next. That's this here. And as always, I'm going to include all um, these. I'll include this whole file for you um, in the description of this video. And so we're going to install PHP by putting in that line, putting install, and pressing enter. <clears throat> so that PHP installation didn't work right away, so I actually had to do this sudo apt get update first, and then do this line. That just may be with, um, uh, it's going to, you may or may not have to do that depending on the state of your um uh, Raspberry Pi operating system, but um, doesn't hurt to do this to just update it. Well, we can do a test. I have a file I created here, simple PHP file. If you don't know how to program in PHP, that's a whole separate tutorial. Um, but this should give you today's date, um, one of the dynamic features of PHP. So I'm going to throw that file up there, um, and there's an index. Oh, okay. This is actually a good learning point. I have this in my um, tutorial that you may or may not be able to um, upload files while you're at the. So I'm, I'm logged in under Pi. Um, you can see it right here, Pi at Raspberry Pi, and I need to be. Um, I need to be logged in as sudo. By default, you don't have a password for sudo, so I'm going to create one. I'm going to put this little 
um, command and sudo password root, press enter. Um, and I'm just going to make it something simple. All right, so my password was updated successfully. So now I need to go back to FileZilla, and I'm going to actually uh, change my login here to root and the new password that I just created. I'll hit connect, OK. And now I'm in as root, and if I go to that, same directory, index. Now you'll see it let me upload it. So you need to be, um, you have to have the root, um, you have to be in there as the root user to be able to do this. Um, pretty easy to do though. Like I just showed you, just create the new password and log in as root. But the, by default, um, the root login does not have a password. All right, um, and I'm gonna delete this file now. Yes, that's gone. So now, if I come back here, that uh, when I go to the web page, it gives me uh, my dynamic time and date here. Okay. Um.